This is what makes Aussies so fat. Tim Tan's making Aussies fat since 1986. I see a lot of these. I always had heaps of acne, fat and more weight. Tim Tan's, nothing. You want to get your girlfriend fat? You love Tim Tan's. And then we got we got cordial as well. It's good stuff as well. It's one of my favourite. Bigfoot's always a great hit. Good day out. Good to take the day out. I'm going to show you when he got vegan. First of all, he got bananas. I reckon that's right, it's not ready yet. <coughs> so according to Cole's charts, this is the right banana. This will be ready in about a week. You acquire these in a week's time, be nice and spotty, and you're good to go. At least five days. Perfect. I always bring a bag as well, same plastic. Coles has got a great selection of uh, juices here, fruits and roots. You get a root of Coles, is it good? So you got a lot of. It's always changing, it's always changing, always changing, always something vegan. Look behind here, we've got some more here. We've got Bundy juice, skin on the juice bra. 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 Bund
And we have some vegan Asian products. Then spice noodles at all supermarkets. These are so easy. They go with so many sauces. Light cheese in syrup. And there's these which I really like. There's the organic soba noodles. Yeah. And you've got your hockey noodles, thin rice, Singapore, etc. Ramen. A lot, a lot of options. Yeah. This is a great vegan, low fat. Low fat's the secret. Every gram of fat is the fat you wear. So every gram of fat you eat is the gram of fat you wear. The fat is the fat you wear. These are low fat, these are zero fat. Uh, these are vegan sherbets, $2. These sour rainbows. I mean, one point a gram of fat for 100, so they're lean, vegan. You've got this licorice as well. 1.5 grams of fat per 100, so it's vegan, lean. And you also got these sour patch watermelons. It's less than a gram of fat per 100, that's lean as fuck. Lean as fuck. Um, you also got the licorice here. That's not the big ones as well, I'm pretty sure. 1.5 grams. And here's the funny thing, this has got gelatin. What is gelatin? Gelatin is beef, anus, beef testes, etc. So I'll give that a flick, you've got vegan options. There you go. So you got a lot of vegan options, and there's so many vegan chips coming to the market. I, I can't keep up. These are even vegan. Kettle, all right. Silver child, chili, wild lime. And you want good customer service in the back of them as well. So there's a lot of options here. These are vegan as well. Oh, so many options here. So many options here. And again, they are a bit greasy though, so you gotta watch your weight. A lot of oil in these, but have now that's all right. But uh, if, you do, if you do like chips, you got vegan chips in coals. A lot. Let's put that. 15 different varieties of vegan chips here. Huh? Reading greens, check it out, there's a lot out there. And this is water. Water's not technically vegan because fish piss in water, fish fucking water, so it's not technically vegan. So if you're vegan, you can't drink water. Just kidding. And if you cuts out there like salsa, this is a good one as well. It's a dollar fifty a jar, mate, that's fucking cheap. And how much fat's in it? Oh, less than a gram per hundred. So very lean, lean salsa. That's really good on rice cakes and rice crackers. True. True the salsa on that. It's good with rice as well. And here you got some you got a bit of popcorn. They get twenty two grams of fat. Yeah, so this is a lot. this is like yeah, a lot in this little bag here compared to the straight potatoes. So this is hot sauce. This is Michael Phelps' favourite. This is hot sauce. And it is also vegan. It's from Mexico. As vegan. There's so many. I could have spent here hours, man, doing this shit up here. It's, it's, it's coals, vegan paradise. There's so much product out there. This is crazy. This is a new label for Praise. And uh, we'll get to that one in a sec. This is. I've been in this for years. This is 9% nine, nine fat free. My voice is cooked. It says it even says suitable for vegan. It's Praise. Praise has the word vegan on this product. Now this is 2018, this is, this is the power of social media. Well, as Instagram posts and YouTube videos have been up for the last 10 years, it's finally paying off. In Australia, the phrase is written vegan on the back of their label. That's blew my mind. We've also got tears coming out. New label for made the change the ingredient. They didn't. It's put vegans in the back. Rad. So 9 I'm set fat free, good link on them at the and this one is Master Foods, also vegan, tart sauce. sauce. This is lovely some on fish and chips back in the day. But this one is very, very oily. It's 65 grams of fat per 100. So it's a good Balkan food. A lot of oil in there. So if you are suffering from uh, clots or whatever heart issues, then go easy on the oil. Because this one's full of it. It's tasty. So you do have it, have it in moderation. Better yet, boom. I think in praise little tartar sauce. It's not an upset fat food. Couldn't find it, but it's out there. And it's also big. So there you go. And we've got sauce. Get on the sauce. Get on the hot sauce. But uh, Master Foods, all their sauces are vegan. Don't upset them. So easy. Tasty as well. So Master Foods doing great stuff out there. No artificial colours, flavours, or preservatives. But uh, yeah, get on the hot sauce. We've got mustard here. Everyone loves a bit of mustard on their vegan hot dog. Beautiful, easy, easy. Mustard goes in. I've got mustard on everything. I've got mustard on my bananas. I've got mustard on my mangoes. Mustard on my, on my veggie meat. Mustard on my own meat. And um, two minute noodles. <laughs> These are all vegan as well. Is this chicken? There ain't no chicken in this. This is all veggie. It's pure vegan, goodness. And the beef one as well, all vegan. So major two minute noodles, vegan. So in a year's time, they'll put suitable vegans on there. Right now, it's accidentally vegan. In a year's time, they'll be like, oh, social media, we can sell more products. Let's put vegan on it. And if you're a company making food, and you're not making vegan stuff, and it's accidentally vegan, you're not labeling it, you're missing out on a huge customer base. Money, motherfuckers. Vegan industry, killing it right now. Get cashed up. Anyway, I've got Campbell's over here. This is all for a vegan soup. Garden vegetable. That's another vegan one. So this is fucking easy as. Easy as. 
And here we have Ras. It's 14 cents for 100 grams. $1.40 a kilo for 3,000 calories. $1.40 for 3,000 calories. He can work the house down on this shit. This is Ras. Fuels yeah, six, uh, three billion lean Asians. Three billion lean Asians, hard working, hard working than you and me. Eat rice, they can't be wrong. So rice is power packed food. Get a rice cooker, rice soy sauce, you got beans across the road here. You got SPC, you got spaghetti as well. So, I think this one's spaghetti, tomato chips. Which tomato? Which tomato? Is that the vegan one, Tasha? Yes. I think it is, yeah. So you know, there's so much product coming and going. And there's the organic option yeah. down here. Where's that one? Down here? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you've got organic beans and organic spaghetti as well down there as well. So, easy done. And if you're in a rush, there's heaps of vegan instant rices. The Mexican style ones, they're really tasty. Uncle Ben's. Brown rices. Got coconut chili and lemongrass. There's organic. This one is oil free. You just hop in the microwave for a minute and a half. So I use this sauce in all my stir fries. This is a vegan stir fry sauce. It's really tasty. You just put your veggies in the pan and then pour this all over it. Put it with rice, rice noodles, sweet and sour sauce. <coughs> Most satay sauce is vegan, vegan as well. There's a lot of options with that. Moisin, plum, teriyaki, black bean, endless. Easy. <laughs> Carbs and low carbs. That's bullshit. Two dollars. Yeah. I put them out. Just again. Vegan spring rolls. Two dollars. Wow. Oh. So who we got here, what's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick. So you just met me in Coles, you showed an Isaac Butterfield video, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Who, who's better, me or Isaac? Uh, Isaac. Oh, someone said for there as well. Hey, hey, <laughs> Isaac's better. Oh. Isaac's better. I got owned and I got burned in Coles. Isaac's 100% better. Oh. <laughs> I just got burned by an eight-year-old in Coles. <laughs> burned. And the Dash has done a discovery, another label that's come up new. Yeah, so these I've been eating for years and probably in the past couple of weeks, there's a vegan friendly sticker on there. Yeah, wow. On the label. In KB's Vegetable Goiza. These are so good, like these are restaurant quality. Really? How much does it cost for a pack? Uh, these are pricey. <laughs> They're $16. Still but you've got 750 grams, which is way cheaper than if you were to dine out. How much do they cost in a restaurant, you reckon then? Um, it's about like four for eight bucks in a restaurant. Yeah. So you're paying two bucks for one. True. Wow. So if you want hot cheese but don't want all the fat, just come to the frozen section. There's so many frozen chips. These ones, healthy choice. They are only 2.9% fat. So that is, that is so lean potato chips and sure. tasty. Yeah, well. Just put a bit of salt on them. Some tomato sauce. It's got beer battered, original fries, there's wedges. That's cheap, that's cheap. Yeah, they're cheap as well. Sea salt rosemary. Are these even? Yes. Season chips. The Coles apple pie is vegan. Yeah, well. I never knew. Amazing apple pies. This is where Natus fucks up. This is 99% vegan, but they put a little bit of animal fat in the margarine. They could just have veggie oil, yeah, and they put animal fat in there. So they just kill their customer base, right? You know, they just kill off a few hundred thousand vegans in Australia, vegetarians who apply for it otherwise. So it's just stupid to add. If your product's already 95% vegan, 99% vegan, what does it mean 100% vegan? And then double or triple your customer base, potentially. Business, man. Follow the fucking money, cunts. This is the funniest one. 
It's got no sugar added to it. It still tastes like camel balls. It's got a silver tall poly texture. It would taste ugh, hideous. But it's going to also increase the chances of cancer because of the dairy product in there. Dairy has over 80 active hormones in it. So, low fat ice cream still promotes tumor growth, cancer growth. Wow. So we got the so good here, on sale for 450. This is really low fat and also vegan. So it's stuff. it's really good with maple syrup. Yeah, put the maple syrup on top of jam in there, and it's fast reflexes on the soy. So yeah, people say soy. What people say about soy? Soy gives you man titties. Holly, show us your man titties. Oh, oh man titties. So much jiggle Asia, factor there. Go to Asia, go to Australia. There's more man boobs in Australia than in China or Japan. So it's okay. Yeah, it's got some nice texture to it. And you also have the you have over the moon, which is another vegan one. It's good, but it's a bit greasy off one. But if you want extra fat, then this is a good one. We also have Ben and Jerry's do a vegan one as well, so that's pretty rad. Really good. This one's really sweet. I wish. Reese, if you're watching this, do a vegan vanilla. This is vegan chocolate. So for us little caffeine sensitive uh, people like myself, do too much of a buzz. But if you could do a vanilla version of this, it would be unreal. Because this is so, so sweet. So fucking good. Whoever made this has done a really good job. Make a vanilla version. I'll put like the fuck out of it on social media. This one's good as well. Not as sweet, but still pretty good. Vegan, 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 vegan. Uh, and Natasha just said these ones as well. These ones too. More options. Do you have frosty fruits? Yeah, we could do. And you got cereal as well. Cereal's great. Get a bowl, get a spoon, get some silver, boil the water, put some sugar in there, smash it in. I often need a pack of cereal a day. Cereal's great work for ethnic food. If you start flat out at work, smash in more cereal for dinner time or lunch, you get more shit done in the day. So you carve up your fruits for breakfast, you smash in your cereal for lunch and dinner. Man, I've seen so many people get lean, mad lean on cereal. You know, crazy physiques, gets it lean as fuck. Go for the low fat versions, dairy free, good to go. Which oil do you buy, Natasha? Uh, I don't buy any oil. I don't add oil to my food. I try to eat as low oil as possible. Me too. There might be a bit of oil if I buy takeout or whatever, but it's, it's nothing too major yeah. because it's not something that I do often. It's just unnecessary. It is. Yeah, it's just just weight gain food. You know, you have this, which is only $2.25, and then people think, okay, I'll buy this first cold pressed macadamia oil. It's just fat as well. Liquid coconut premium oil for $13, thinking that they're doing a favor for their health, but it's the same shit at the end of the day. It's the same calories of fat. Good for massage, that's about it. So you say oil free cooking's the best? Oil free cooking is the best. I agree, I agree. Easy to stay lean that way. So I put this on my salad. It's really sweet and it's tasty. Oil free? <laughs> it's oil free. It's yeah, well. just it's just vinegar. Accidentally vegan Mazzetti glaze. And all these red wine vinegars, white wine, gonna apple cider vinegar, they're really good on salad. Italian white wine. Yeah, well. Carb the Carb the fuck up, carb up, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, carbs the good carbs, carb the fuck up, carb, 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 carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, carb the fuck up, pardon the fuck up, and go get a core message, go do it right now.